Hi, this is the Norton Ed's channel, and this is Dominic Norton doing a re uh, the, a review of the iPad first generation. So uh, this is a 16 gig my model, as as you can see there. This is um, this and this has got a very slim design. You can see there how slim it is. Uh, and then uh, I just I just decide to turn it off so you can see the turn on times. So right, so so we're, so we're turning it on now. Uh, just so you know, this is flash memory, and this is a 9.7 inch uh, di diagonal screen, and the and the and the resolution is is 1024 by 768 pixels. So, so this is a uh, 720p H, uh, HD screen, which I have to say looks brilliant. Um, but but as it is quite a bright display, um, if you keep it on bright uh, brightness, uh, it can kind of run out or run out of battery um a lot quicker than than if it's then like let's say if the brightness was on medium but right uh here we go it's turned on now this is a very very responsive touch screen uh you have your uh you have your videos app which is very fast to open you, you can see there now there you go that's all loaded but the but the battery in here is i believe it's five it's around five thousand milliamp hours um, which should give you about uh, a good 10 hours uh, of battery life for just general use. Um, so at the bottom of your 30 pin connector jack, you have your speaker You have your speaker here, but you don't get surround sound here. This is just a mono speaker, but, uh, but still it does sound very nice. How about I... Uh, it probably won't sound that great on your computer, but, um, but I'll just... Uh, give you a demonstration of the speaker. Now this song. So as you can see there, it's a very good speaker, it's very high quality. Um, uh, and also you have the app store here, which which can load very fast. At the top here, you you have your standby button and standby week and turn off power button. There there you have your three and a half millimeter um, headphone jacks, and yes, you can use basically any. Headphones, so just like maybe Beats you can use, or uh, or the Bose headphones. I know they're very good. And up here you have a microphone. Uh, here you have a very nice uh, di display. And so far I have not got any scratches on it. But then I do have the original smart. Uh, this isn't the smart cover, but it's the original iPad cover. And the smart cover does not work with the iPad first generation. Now this is a very nice case, but my only one criticism about it is that this can get very dirty and it is hard to clean. But uh, but it is possible to clean it, and also this gets a bit starts to come out of it. But and to and to put the iPad in the case, it's very simple. Slide it in here, and it's got all the and it's got space for all the ports and buttons. So slide it in there, put that in there, and yeah, that's it. Close very nicely, except oh, oh, I just need to finish this off properly, and that does close very nicely. And also, so you can prop it up that way, so you can have it, have it like that or like that. Um, so there's a so there's a very nice um, iPod app on this, and there's a brilliant mail application, but it but it does not have push email. So uh, so people looking to use it for business. Uh, may be a bit put off by that, but um, but I believe the Blackberry Playbook does have push email, so you might want to consider that. But the app store is quite small. Here you have a very nice in internet application, very very responsive. Pins to zoom looks very good. So put it. Let's see if I put in. Let's go on Apple.com. Apple.com loads very quick. You can see here. My internet isn't the fastest. It's, it's about 10 meg megabits per second, but it loads quite fast. And look, pins to zoom is very fluid but you do occasionally get the get the checkerboard thing but but it's not too bad and yeah um there will be more specs and uh, information about this device in the uh, comment section below and once again this is dominic from the norton ed uh channel on on youtube thanks a lot